Liberia's president led the day's celebrations. It's been 13 years since Liberia was last in charge of its own security. The United Nations has kept the peace in Liberia since the end of the country's brutal and prolonged civil war. But now that role belongs to the national government, its police and military. Today's event is a testimony to the enormous work and progress made by this government since 2006 to ensure a stable and peaceful country. A country where all can live and move freely without harassment. A country where freedom of the press and of the media is guaranteed. A country that provides opportunities for all to contribute to its development. The UN has been gradually tapering its operations in Liberia. UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon praised the country's government and its people for preserving peace for more than a decade. We, as a, a citizen of this country, the same way they, they came and they helped us, we want to hold the peace the same way. I feel that we, the Liberian, we can make it. With the time that all may been with us, with the training that they've been giving us, if they leave, I feel that we as Liberian, we keep the peace. They have done a lot. They have done their best. I think um, this is our time for Liberians to take over the security. The Liberian president admitted that there would be some challenges with the security transition. She called on Liberia's international partners to keep helping the Liberian security forces, providing funding and training. She also called on Liberian citizens themselves to come together to ensure a peaceful transition. The head of Anmel Farid Zarif acknowledged the international community still had a significant role to play, but said the Liberian government had to ensure its security forces had the support they needed. Now, sustained political commitment is needed to both build on gains made in the security sector and to create the conditions for long-lasting stability and peace in Liberia. A small unmill contingent will stay in Liberia beyond this handover. They'll provide security of last resort. The UN will decide in December when and if these last few remaining staff will leave Liberia once and for all. Katerina Vitozzi, CCTV, Monrovia, Liberia.